I mentioned in the advanced video, but hoses are based a lot on their naming conventions. So hose one will be connected to hose one wrist. So if you decide you want to change the layer name, it's going to break the link. And since we know that nothing is ever final and you're probably going to want to rename things, we built this rename button. So we'll change this to leg one and change the controller bear to hip ankle, hit rename, and the layers in the layer group change. As your rigs start getting more complex, your interfacing start getting a little bit cluttered. Here we have two arms being auto-flopped. We have a lot of controllers, so we're gonna clean that up. As we learned before, you can select a controller and hit the auto-flop visualizer to turn that off. But if you deselect everything, you can hit the auto-flop button and everything will hide. Let's change the stacking order of some of these layers. Right now we have arm B that's sitting on top of the body. That's supposed to be arm back. So we're gonna select that and drag it below the body. We have our legs in front of our shoes, so we'll take those and put those behind the feet layers. Now our order is a bit more correct. Right now we have a lot of rubber hose layers that are all the same color. This can be a little confusing, so let's color code them based on which group they're in. We broke up the layer order by dragging the legs down below the feet. So select one layer from a group and click the select group button and you'll select all the layers in that group. You can recolor them for easier identification. Sometimes when you're trying to select controllers, you end up selecting hoses instead. This is just because the hoses are bigger than the controller layers. So one thing that I've found to be a bit more helpful is to drag all of the controllers on top of the hoses in the stacking order. This can be a little bit tedious if you have your hoses spread around your whole comp and you have a lot of controllers to deal with. So you could select them all manually or you can go up to the panel, hold down the Alt button and click Select Group and you'll select all of the controllers. Easily drag those up to the top and lock the hoses. Now you have full control and you never have to worry about selecting the hoses themselves. You won't run into this every time but say your controllers are blending in too much with the art of your hose layers. Well, you can jump into controller options and bump up the size and change the color to something that has a bit more contrast from the art itself, from the character that you're working on. These controllers are guide layers, meaning they won't render and they won't show up in pre-comps. But sometimes if you're just trying to preview, it can be a little bit annoying to see everything. So you can select them all and hide them, but if you deselect everything and hit the controller visibility button, this will toggle all the controllers on and off in the comp. If you select one in the comp and hit the controller visibility, you'll toggle that pair on and off. Say you want to focus on just one pair of controllers and hide the rest of them. If you select one controller and hold Alt or Option and click the controller visibility button, you'll hide all other controllers so that you can focus on one pair. These are some of the management features of Rubber Hose. Have fun guys. Thanks.